and I'm back. That's what happens when you fish in for carp. Uh, it was just a four pound common, it wasn't a massive one, but entertainment. Uh, and we've tricked it back out, put the fish back. Yeah, so Wednesday, yeah, I had Peterborough Kings Lynn, which was nice. Kings Lynn, it was just outside Kings Lynn. And it was, I mean, Kings Lynn in the middle of nowhere, let's be honest, it's, it really is. And then there was a job from Boston to ST14, which we all know is JCB. And we got that job, uh, quoted high on it, over a pound a mile, because JCB, and I've got where I've got to travel to. And I picked up a one uh, big tote, like a big plastic ISO tote, which had 350 kilos of um, bits for tractors, <laughs> that's all I can say, inside. And got to JCB, and because I got a pallet, and it was a heavy pallet, I had to queue up. I was in the ST14, which is the Cheetah one, and phoned the shipper when I got there, I said, I'm in a queue, I'm it parked up, you get a buzzer, which everyone knows the buzzers at JCB, and you see them wait, and I clean the van. Uh, the buzzer went off after about an hour and a half, hour and 20 minutes, the buzzer went off, in we went, still took a little bit of time, and I phoned the shipper to say I was just gonna get unloaded, they says, that's fine, let us know how, how long you've been. And I did, and she added money to the job, which was fine, it was all agreed. I think they're used to it now, shippers. So, we've got waiting time, and the waiting time allowed me to drive home, although it was a long way home, it's 90 miles, I wanted to get home. Uh, and get home at a reasonable hour, and I got home at half past four. So still a long day, but good money again, over target. Then we moved to Thursday, again, same start got a choice of a couple of jobs and I took the one, there's one to Leamington Spa and Redditch and Redditch is quite a good area south of Birmingham um, just two boxes and got a job from Redditch to Leicester which is ideal, it was six boxes picking up and I only waited about 20 minutes in Redditch so I got a job so happy with that and Leicester's a really good area and I got to Leicester and delivered, and believe it or not, I struggled to get out of Leicester for about an hour. And I had to travel to Loughborough to pick a job up, and it was three boxes, and it was going to a place called Adston. It was a farm um, between, let me get this right, between Daventry and Brackley. So it was going home, really, uh, and I thought, well, that's great. I'll do that job, and that's going to be about 30 miles from home, and that'll do me. And as I was on my way to doing the job, there was a job popped up on my mobile, on my app. And it was from Banbury to Northampton, which was NN3, which is where I live. But it got to be picked up before 2.15. And I thought, I'm not going to get there. It's going to be about 2.20, 2.25. So I put it on. I knew the shipper. And I put on it the time I expected to get there, the truthful time. I don't exaggerate and say, oh, I'll get there then, then I'm going to be 20 minutes late. That's when I expected to be there. And I got a phone call. I said, have you read the notes? They said, yep, no worries. So, all good. So, I dropped the one in Adston off. It was at a farm, which has been rebuilt for a really posh sort of, I don't know, really, someone's house in the country. Um, and then we shot over to Banbury and picked it up. And again, it was just one box going to North Northampton, three miles from my house. So ideal. Thursday was a really good day. Uh, didn't do many hours. I, I did nine hours Thursday, that's all, and went over target. So it's good. Friday, same thing. It's getting pretty repetitive, this, isn't it? <laughs> um, picked up 5.30. Two drops, Burton on Trent. Um, I was done by quarter to eight, ten to eight. And I managed to get a job from Tamworth to Abingdon. Tamworth's just down the A38, I believe. I might get that wrong. I think it's the 30. Well, it's down the road towards Birmingham, uh, between Birmingham and Burton is Tamworth. Picked it up, it was a big box. It was one huge big box. Uh, and it was going to a place I've been to in Abingdon. Abingdon can be a bit iffy sometimes, but this time it was really good because Friday was busy, the feed was busy, and I got a job from Oxford to Wellingborough. Again, only 
eight miles from my house. I'm really lucky. I am lucky that I live in Northampton and there is a lot of places within 20 miles of me that does a lot of courier, you know, courier goods too. So that was my week and it was a good week. It was a good week. Uh, first week back, I managed to get a full five days. I hit target, over target, four days out of five. Monday I was only just under. And I did 1,400 miles in a week. And I did 46 and three quarter hours. So we're looking at nine and a bit hours a day. Oh, all right. There's <laughs> two squirrels having a bit of a scrap behind me. And I did 36 hours driving. And I did 1,069 before that. Which works out at 1,282.80. And you take off my 10% for the VAT man. And it's 1154.52. Works out at 230 a day. So that was a really, really good week. And what I'm finding, my dead miles this week, apart from Mon not Monday, Wednesday, I didn't have many dead miles at all. And it worked out over 91 pence every mile, every single mile. So, fortunately, it's working out. But it's working out because my first job of the day is non-CX. Uh, well, it goes through the CX. He doesn't put go up for bidding. It's from a shipper who gives it, gives me the work. I phone up. He gives me the work. He puts it through the CX because it's easy invoicing. Simple as. Uh, but it's work that is coming straight to me. So my first CX jobs are the second jobs of the day, which can be either backload or it's just a second job. I'm not looking. Or desperate to get a job I'm already got the first job in the bag and because I'm starting early I'm actually finishing early as well well early my wife thinks I do half a day because I finish at three o'clock she don't realize I get out of bed at quarter to five so she thinks god it's early finish part-timer but it's working out okay hopefully it'll continue nothing's set in stone what I'm doing I'm just phoning up and he's happy at the moment um, with what I'm doing for them, and it suits me. I'm carrying nothing heavy, more than one, one item per drop, and then nothing big on the early ones. So, yeah, pretty good with that. Hope you're all doing well. Um, I'm trying to answer some questions. There is a lot of, Big Beard he's put his back on, he's about the YouTubers, are they creating a problem? And he doesn't think so, maybe encouraging. I just put on what I do. Uh, I'm very lucky, like I say, I'm in a cracking area. I couldn't do this job if I was in a poor area. And I probably couldn't do this job if I had kids, mortgage, all that. I already collected private pension, which is which I've collected for two years now. So that tops my money up. So I would never join this if I had to earn money and keep a family and mortgage. Because I don't think it's sustainable. That's my thought anyway. But, like you say, it's all unedited. Strange one today. I wonder if I can show you around. Oh, maybe. Let's do. I'm by the river bank. There's my rods, and I'm in a lovely lake. Oh, whatever you can see. But this is about three miles from my house. Anyway, hope you're all doing well, and I'll speak to you next week. Take care.